What's going on guys, GeoSnowRate here, so in today's video we're going to discuss about the status of the jailbreak, you know, the iOS 9.x, iOS 10.x, iOS 8.x jailbreak as of September 2017, as some of you have requested this video. Now, some of this info that I'm going to present is already known by some of my daily viewers, so you should keep that in mind. Let's get into that, we're going to start with the fact that as for the moment, there's absolutely no iOS 10.3.x jailbreak available. So if there isn't any jailbreak available, let's discuss about the uh, jailbreaks that are currently in the works, if any. Well, you probably remember the uh, fiasco with the Shig team. Now, we discussed about the Shig team in this video in here um, a day ago. You can watch it. I'm going to link it in the description down below. It pretty much has been a, um, you know, a, a little bit of a sparkle in the jailbreaking community. They claim to have a, an iPhone 7 jailbreak for iOS 10.3.x and iOS 10.2.1, which turned out to be completely bullshit. Turned out to be fake and therefore that was your lot so um yeah their account on twitter has also been suspended nice work twitter as you can see in here um pretty much for those of you who didn't watch the uh, the news lately on the jailbreak community the chic team came in they say they have a jailbreak a lot of people followed them including some security researchers from the jailbreaking scene and then they uh, they trolled the community, changed their name into Tim Cook, and posted a troll face. A couple of days later, apparently, Twitter has successfully deleted their account. You can see in here it says account suspended, and that was it. So no jailbreak for the iPhone 7 on iOS 10.3.x. That's unfortunate. Now, the uh, good news are for those of you on iOS 8.4.1. Yes, I know a lot of you are going to jump in and say, who the hell is still using iOS 8.4.1? Yeah, yeah, very funny. A lot of people are using iOS 8.4.1, and uh, I simply do not agree with the comments. Uh, when I make a video about the iOS 8.x jailbreaking, a lot of people are jumping in the comment section saying that uh, iOS 8.x is deprecated, iOS 8.x is not used by anybody on the planet and so on. That's exactly not true. And the problem is that a lot of people are running iOS 8.4.1 on their 32-bit devices and that's because it runs faster. And the second reason is that you can actually downgrade from iOS 9.3.5 back to 8.4.1 using a trick on 32-bit devices. So yes, there are a lot of people running iOS 8.4.x. Teamstar has been working the past few days on an untethered jailbreak for the iOS 8.4.1. Now, for the record, iOS 8.4.1 didn't have a jailbreak. It doesn't have a jailbreak currently. There is the uh, original Yalu, which is a jailbreak for the iOS 8.4.1, but it's incomplete and not very user-friendly, and therefore it's not considered a full untethered jailbreak for the 8.4.1. Now, Teamstar has been working on a Home Depot version of 8.4.1, and it's pretty much uh, he pretty much got it working as you can see from here he posted this today a couple hours ago he got the jailbreak working and here is the demo we expect a release probably soon and that's some good news for the 32 bit device owners but let's get back to the iOS 10.x because a lot of you are on iOS 10 so what about the Kinlab jailbreak? You know, the jailbreak that has been demoed by Lion Chen uh, on the uh, Mosaic Security Conference. Well, I discussed with Lion Chen, as some of you asked me to do so, and he told me that Kinlab does not plan to release this jailbreak for the moment. So no, there will not be a jailbreak release from Kinlab nor from Lion Chen, so we should probably rule that out for the moment. No keen jailbreak to be released soon. So what can you do as of September 2017. Well, what you have done up until this point, you can wait. Everybody can wait. Unfortunately, I mean, that's that's not something good to do, but the only thing that is actually working for the moment, and it's have, it has been proven legit, is the uh, Ziva or ZIVA exploit published by Adam Dolanfield, and it works for 64-bit um, devices on iOS 10.2, 10.2.1, 10.3, and 10.3.1. And then you have uh, the uh, triple fetch that has been posted by Ian Beer, and uh, this is based on CVE 2017-7047, which means, if you take a look in here on common vulnerabilities and exposures, that is compatible with anything iOS 10.3.2. 
and lower, which means iOS 10.3.3 is still not supported, so if you're on the um, latest version, there's absolutely no public exploit compatible with your device for the moment. That's pretty unfortunate, but no, I do not recommend you to update to iOS 11. I know iOS 11 is going to come out on uh, September 19, but yeah, I would definitely recommend you not to update it to iOS 11 from 10.3.3 if you're there. Uh, the jailbreak might come at some point and you have much more chances on iOS 10.x than, than on iOS 11, I guess. But at the end of the day, it's definitely your device. So you decide whether you stay or you update. Anyways, yes, the uh, triple fetch is not enough to create a jailbreak with it. And so is the IVA. Those are very, very important components of a uh, jailbreak. It's pretty much like 60% of a jailbreak, but they are not enough to build one. So until more exploits are published or until somebody gets to work with them together, put them together into a jailbreak, you cannot use them to, to get a jailbreak on your device, which is pretty much unfortunate, but that's the current situation of it. So for the moment, to recap, the uh, most advantaged users are those who are running iOS 8.4.1 they're bound to receive an untethered jailbreak. Now, what does untether mean? Well, an untethered jailbreak is a jailbreak that persists if you restart your phone. You don't have to side load it every day or every seven days. It's pretty much jailbreaking once, and if you reboot your phone, it's going to still be jailbroken, it's going to automatically apply your theme, your tweaks, and so on. Uh, unlike the Yalu or the Phoenix, which you have to re-sign every seven days, and if you reboot your phone, you have to reapply it again. That's the difference between an untethered jailbreak and a semi-untethered jailbreak. Now, as I say, 32-bit devices seem to have a lot of luck with uh, TeamStar building iOS 8.4.1 jailbreak. Now, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, TeamStar has confirmed the fact that he does not have any bugs for iOS 9.3.5 and therefore he is not able to currently build an untether for the uh, Phoenix jailbreak. Anyways, that's pretty much the status of the jailbreaking as of September for the moment. If something else comes out, I'm going to keep you informed and I'm going to keep you updated, but that's pretty much what is the situation for the moment. Those of you who want to update to iOS 11 can do so. I mean, it's your device, but I definitely do not recommend updating from iOS 10.x. That's pretty much it, guys. Till the next time, tell me in the comment section down below what device are you using and on which version. Subscribe to stay updated and peace out.